Hello Internet, welcome to a brand new series in Network Analysis and Synthesis. Uh, we are going to study sinusoidal steady state analysis of RLC circuits. First in the series is RC circuits. We will study the steady state analysis of RC circuit today. This is how the circuit will look like. We have an alternating voltage source. Then we have resistor and capacitor in series to that voltage source. Now this could be termed as the RC series circuit excited by a voltage sinusoid. So the voltage here that we are talking about is certainly a uh, sinusoidal voltage that can be represented by this equation. Now before I even begin to derive the uh, relationship between the voltage and the series current and the voltage developed across resistor and capacitor all that uh, mathematical stuff I'd like to give you this very important um, hint that you can remember to solve any RL, RC or RLC circuits connected with AC supply. Now that hint is, uh, you, you could remember this word civil where the first three letters of the word would represent that in CIV the first three letters will represent or will help you remember that in capacitor um, current will lead voltage and the last three alphabets. The first three alphabets is in capacitor current will lead voltage and the second thing VIL will suggest that voltage leads current in inductor or a circuit having resistor and an inductor. So this is applicable for RL and this is applicable for RC. So in the coming tutorials also uh, you can you can take help of this a small little trick uh, of the word civil to remember that in capacitive circuits uh, current will lead voltage and voltage will lead current in inductive circuits. So uh, this is what we are expecting now in this circuit that this current which will be generated by the voltage source in presence of R and C will, will be ahead of the phase voltage. So what we are trying to say is that the source voltage will be will lag the source current and this this relationship is a lag relationship so just to make the thing super easy we are we're putting it in very very simple terms that our source voltage here will lag in phase from the source current which is the only current by the way present in the circuit because we are we are talking about the series RC circuit and with that being said now we come to the mathematics of this so we can we can clearly see that the voltage is this 
the voltage in the circuit can be represented by the voltage drop at the resistor and the voltage drop at the capacitor. So I into R is the voltage drop across resistor and I into 1 upon J omega C is the voltage drop across capacitor. So just a little bit of rearrangement will will show us that now the things are getting or I can simply write it as I into Z which is the impedance of this <coughs> series circuit where uh, impedance is R minus J upon omega C so this is very important to understand that uh, this is nothing but Ohm's law, simple representation of Ohm's law but for an AC circuit and if I was to convert this impedance Z which is currently written in uh, the rectangular format into polar so what I'll need to do is I'll need to find out the magnitude which is I need to convert it into R angle theta so magnitude will become this real square plus imaginary square under root is magnitude and angle will become uh, tan inverse 1 upon omega r c uh, it's just tan inverse imaginary upon real so this will now clear up a lot of things because we eventually need to find out I so that we could see whether our source current is leading the voltage or um, lagging the voltage but in this uh, particular case we are expecting that to lead from this abbreviation that we just learned so I can say my current is V upon Z so V upon this whole thing R square plus 1 upon omega C square and this angle is a negative angle so when when this negative angle goes into the numerator it will cause some phase lead if you can appreciate that fact that this portion of uh, the current is the magnitude and when this angle goes in the numerator it takes up a positive sign and that positive sign represents that my my current has now taken a lead and that lead is uh, the magnitude of that lead is tan inverse 1 upon omega rc and you should keep that thing in 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 your memory this should be committed to memory that the lead angle for the current in uh, rc series circuit is tan inverse 1 upon omega rc uh, very important from the point of view of solving numericals so the instantaneous value i becomes i m sine omega t plus theta and we, we found out this theta finally because this theta is this angle of lead so i can represent my i m this is by the way i m and I can substitute the value of the magnitude in I m which is V upon the magnitude of the impedance this is pretty simple and if I was to write it in the form of a sinusoidal equation instantaneous values are written in the form of sinusoidal equations so omega t plus this angle of lead is obviously a positive angle and it is nothing but 1 upon omega r c so and let's draw the phasor diagram now if this is v the magnitude the magnitude of uh, 
current will will be smaller because it is being divided by some quantity so i would say the current would definitely be smaller but it it is leading by an angle of uh, tan inverse 1 upon omega c so this angle by which it is leading is tan inverse 1 upon omega rc and if we were to represent this in in wave forms then we can certainly say that uh, if my voltage is this because uh, at the beginning we did not consider any uh, phase lead or lag in the voltage source in the first place the voltage source was a simple plane voltage source without any phase lead and lag in the first place so if my current is if we have found our source current to be leading now we need to draw it uh, from this place and of course the magnitude is smaller so we'll need to draw a smaller magnitude wave shape something like this and of course the frequency will remain the same do not mess around with the frequency of the current because they both will uh, will be at omega the working frequency will remain the same it's just that there will there will be some angle of lead or lag in these circuits uh, and this is how easy uh, the analysis of rc circuit is and it becomes even more easier to remember this from this phrase or word whatever you may want to call it civil uh, the first three alphabets uh, will help you remember that capacitive circuits current will lead voltage and the last three alphabets will help you remember that voltage leads current in inductors so i hope this quick tutorial on analysis of rc circuit uh, was helpful and if you liked the video please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing the good word have a good day bye